morning we are uh, tracking beans. All right, slingshot engaged. All right, only one truck in front of us. I like it. He'll give me time to untarp. Third one of the day. Getting it done. Made it back. Get the cart dumped. And uh, go get the combine dumped, cut another hopper, and we'll be ready to go to Newburgh again. Dumping. Had a load on. Well, there's half a load. And this is why I'd like to have a bigger grain cart. At least like a 750 or something. Got our new air filter for the combine this morning. But if I had a 750 or an 850 bushel cart, I could fill the combine and the cart overnight, have a truckload sitting waiting for me in the morning. But, oh well, we'll make do with what we got. I gotta say, they didn't exactly give you much room to put filters in one of these cabs. I've got to level this ground up because it is just ungodly rough out here. Not even going that fast, just going 10 mile an hour. Up the goat paths we go. This is where uh, you will snap a tongue on a full cart if you don't take it easy. Ask me how I know. All right, our filters and fluids are good. So I guess it's time to dump the combine. And uh, I don't know if there's a hopper out there or not. I kind of doubt it. We'll get that cut and then uh, take off back down to Newburgh today. Well, it's about time to start our day. Make sure she fires up here. I'm already lined up here. Just finish dumping and we'll be good to go. Say so that's good enough. All right. Let's go. Maybe, if the head drops. There we go. All right, it's go time. I need to turn my reel down. That's better. Okay, now we're cutting. All right, I didn't quite get a full hopper. But there should be enough there to fill the cart and finish off, finish off the truck, so hopefully see how this ends up on the cart here but uh, hopefully this will finish it we can head back down to Newburgh pretty early here this morning it's only about 11 11 30 right now so should work out pretty good to have two loads down here this quick well shoot if anything I got it a little too loaded but it will fill the semi as long as I don't dump half of it like you know down these trails that I probably shouldn't load a cart that full on to start with, but oh well. Unplug her camera, shut her down, head back to the river. If I had a cart driver and a truck driver, I would get three times the acres done in a day right now. Eh, I've had it heavier before. We're just gonna take it nice and easy getting out of here. This load should fill the truck pretty well. Um, I don't think this one's going to be that light of a load. It's not going to be overloaded, but it's not going to be underloaded either. So, should have enough to get us back on the road. My cart went empty. I'd say that's a load. Shut this one off and hop in the next one. Playing musical equipment today. I need help.
Now this is less than ideal. Made it right off the interstate. Started to smell antifreeze and sure enough, I looked over at my uh, coolant temp and it was climbing very fast. Blew a hose off, I think. Maybe the water pump, but I got a guy coming with the water pump just in case and some hoses and hose clamps. So hopefully we're back on the road before Newburgh closes because they're literally like a mile and a half down the road and I'm still full. So hopefully I at least get to dump it. I really despise the fact that I had to call somebody to come fix this because it's an easy job, but I don't have any tools. I'm in the semi. So maybe time to put like a little ratchet set in all the trucks or something like that because I don't even have like a screwdriver in here right now. So I can't adjust a hose clamp even if I wanted to. Well, it cost me two and a half hours that the truck's fixed and I made it to ADM to dump it with four minutes to spare. So we're dumped, we're empty, we're headed back home. We're pissed off, but we're not pissed on. So still chalk it off as a good day, I guess. But it could have been better. Well, add this to the list. Everybody's stopping with their hazards on. I haven't seen why yet, but we are. Add that to the list of things today. I don't know what's going on up here. Semi made it back in one piece. Walk into the cart. I think my wife's coming, bringing the baby out. She's gonna ride along with him in the grain cart. So she's gonna run the grain cart actually with him. She just fed him and got him changed. So he should be good for a while. And she's gonna come follow me around in these patches back here so I don't have to walk. Since I haven't gotten anything done today, I asked her if she would come out and help. So at least I might get something done tonight. We'll see. I'd like to get this farm done. If the beans uh, keep making what they're making, which isn't bad, but as long as they don't do phenomenally different back there for some reason, Everything should fit on the semi cart and combine tonight and we should have this farm done tonight. Hopefully. I'd like to get it done and get moved home and cut some of those beans and see what some of my better beans are gonna make because these aren't bad beans, but I definitely have better. And I'd like to get started on them. Found a rock. But just as soon as I get started on beans at home and get them cut we'll be shelling corn um, the corn is 25 last night so I'd say in a week we'll be shelling corn um, I could really dang near be shelling it by the end of the week honestly I'm sure you can hear it's windy and this is more like it these are making 65, 70 bushel down through here. This is still on reclaimed ground, but this is low ground down through here. I don't think it ran out of water like the rest of it did. These are doing really well. Nice, pretty sunset. Giving me something to look at tonight. Doing good down here, though. Made me slow the combine up a little bit. Only going three and a half mile an hour now. I was running four and a half. Well, that's full. I'm gonna run it up to my wife so she can run me back here. Still got several beans in the combine and a little bit left to go, but boy, we've got it dusty back there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'd say the moisture is gonna set in early tonight because it's getting pretty dusty pretty quick. It's already a little bit tough. We may finish this farm tonight. We may not. Dumping. Getting it done. Yeah, you don't have to run it wide open. Okay, and I push the clutch in to put it in forward, but I don't have to to raise the throttle, right? Correct. She's learning. All right, I think that might be refamiliarized. Refamiliarized, that's a new one. She is uh, 
a little bit rusty. She hasn't drove a tractor in like probably a year, but she's gonna learn today or relearn today. Um, I need a cart operator bad, and I think she's gonna help me tomorrow. So she's home with the baby right now, so she's still not got anywhere to be during the day. So I think she's gonna start helping me during the day, which will be very nice until she tears something up and I get mad. I'll try not to get too mad, but I do get a temper when things break. And it doesn't even, I get a temper when they break and I'm the one running it, let alone somebody else. So um, hopefully for the sake of my wife and the sake of my marriage, I don't get too mad. Hopefully she just doesn't tear anything up though. Well, it's 9.30 and I know for a fact I should have shut down an hour ago. You can tell by the grass out there, it's got a shiny little gloss to it. They're definitely cutting tough, but with this draper, you can kind of just slow down and keep going. What I'm concerned about is uh, throwing them out the back of the combine right now because uh, they may be feeding better and smooth, but they're definitely threshing harder see that reel's trying to wrap up right there. That's always a pretty good sign that they're uh, probably too tough to be cutting. But this is gonna finish off this hopper and that'll fill the truck. So I got a truck load for in the morning. Not as productive of a day as I'd like it to have been, but still got something done, I guess. Anyhow, I cut one more pass around the outside of this field. Probably call it a night. I love opening up fields in the dark. My wife's behind me. She's got a little bit on the cart. I got a full hopper. We're just jumping up the road. You can see the semi right there. So, gonna dump them both and I'll have to service this in the morning. I don't like blowing them off in the morning because then you're dirty all day. But maybe I'll come out here first thing and then run home, change clothes when I get the truck. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Combine's parked. Now it's time to get this one parked too. Dumping. I need to replace or adjust that light up there. I can't hardly see what's going in the truck right now. It's just basically a shadow. I don't like that. My wife had to come back because I left my key in the truck. Gotta get them shots. Oh yeah. You're gonna get demonetized. It's alive. And hopefully not overheating today. Hopefully we keep all of our radiator hoses on and uh yeah hopefully we don't overheat anything today i checked the oil it was good she's going to get me parts from hopes i've got a couple knives on the bean head that are broke so she's going to get me some spare boxes of those some bolts and whatnot so she'll be back then I can get the combine ready. Then we're gonna knock out this last little patch of beans. And we'll be moving home with the combine. This will be about a hundred and some odd acres of beans cut. And all in all, they didn't do too bad, especially for reclaim. Well, it's time. That is the sound of fall right there. Got to throw the doors in. We're going to set an auger. I called ADM. I've got my September contract filled, which I thought that last load would. So from here on out, we're actually going to cover some acres because I won't have to haul every single load down to uh, the river, which takes about two and a half hours every load. So we'll actually cover some ground now. Time to set an auger. Well, we just about got this field knocked out. Um, 
I had two dumps on the truck, third one right here, and maybe another half of one. So we should fill another truck. So that'll be seven truck loads on a hundred and about 118 acres is what's here, 114, 118, depending on how close you cut the end rows, I guess. But uh, not bad for reclaimed ground. Not bad at all. I think I'm in luck. My dad just pulled in, and I think my wife's coming, so we'll have two people to get us moved back home. So that'll be nice. I'm going to take the combine and have him follow me with the tractor and cart, and then my wife can bring my pickup bring him back to get his truck, bring me back to get the semi, and she can pull the head cart home. So that'll work out good. All right, I'm all wrapped up. Beans are all cut here. This farm's done. Dad's following me with the cart. I'm bouncing down the road. Back to the farm we go. That's good, because I'm about to need fuel again. Can't see her for the dust, but my wife's up there. She's pulling the head cart. I'm following her back. Now we'll have everything home. So life's good. Get to start on the next field. The semi's full and it's definitely pulling hard on some of these hills because it's used to having a run at them. But since I'm following her, I don't have near the run at them that I've been getting. places she's gonna follow me with the cart i'm gonna get the head cart to the next field it's just right up the road she's gonna come up there and uh i'm at least gonna open up the next field we may not cut much tonight i don't know at least gonna get it open she made it Gave me room to get the combine hooked on, jump across the highway and start on those. Okay, we are hooked up. All we gotta change now is our farm name. So we're on a different field. Reset our counter. And we'll be good to go. Well, so far, I'll, all I've cut is the end rows and they didn't look that great. And that's my average so far but uh, pretty happy with that. 13,923 pound. Now let's go see what the cart says and see if it's still calibrated or not. 13,820 and there's probably 100 pound left in the combine and in the auger, so that's close enough. I'm gonna say that'll work. Let's get to cutting. Nice clean beans, no weeds in them. And they're making that right now. 84 bushel, 71 average. Look how clean they are in the tank. Life's good right now. Life's real good. That's full, that's full, and the semi is full at the farm. So I think I'm gonna call it an early night and uh, continue these phenomenal beans tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all for today. Just walking back to the house. The house is literally right where that tree is. Found this. I nicked it with the bean head. Luckily it didn't go in. It's amazing what you'll find along an old fence line, isn't it? Like fence posts and stuff. Thought I got them all. Almost forgot. Semi's still full. I need to dump it because it's got wet beans in it. So we're gonna dirty up my wife's car since I'm filthy. And it's the only thing here and I don't feel like walking to the farm, so taking it first we got to get these high-tech grain bin latches 
apart here. As you can tell, professionally done. Don't laugh, it works. And we got our OSHA approved railing up here. But don't worry, they're small grain bins. It's not that far down. It'll just paralyze you, not kill you. If you land right. So this field here is like 28 acres, I think, on this side of the ditch. And I just can't get all the way around it with a full hopper. I almost didn't make it back the last time, so good beans. Got 21 acres so far. 74 is the average. Um, that's including that over there. So not bad. Not bad at all. They're uh, jumping up quite a bit when I get in the middle of the field, so I'd say once we get out of the end rows, maybe bump that average to like 78 or so. That would be that'd be pretty cool. But hey, I'll take 74 all day long too. 74 is better than 54. First load dumped and another hopper ready to go for us. Should be uh, good running today. Well, it is good running today. Hell, I even got the field opened up already, so it'd be easy from here on out. Hopefully. I thought it was kind of acting funny right here. Missing a section. Not a big deal. We got plenty more. You know, like three more boxes of these things. There we go. That's what we need. Now we take our punch, push the two sheared bolts off, put that on there, bolt it back down. Easy as that. There we go. Like new again. In fact, they all look good now, so back to cutting beans. So uh, the beans were only making 22 bushel across the field. This would be why they weren't going in the grain tank. They were going on the ground. Guess who left his clean grain elevator door open? Wide open. Lots of beans right on the ground. I bet we get more beans in the hopper now. I took that off to adjust it. I tightened it up a little bit real quick. I forgot to shut it. At least I looked at my monitor before I saw that on the ground. It latched. Just like that. Taking a water break. Beans are still doing good. Got most of this field knocked out. Just a little bit left in the corner there. We're definitely gonna fill the truck and then some, so. Going pretty good. Pulled into the next field here. That one right there is what I just did. So I thought I would uh, give this one a go. And uh, still a bit green here in the end rows, but up inside the field, it looks a little bit drier. I don't know. They may need a day or two. I called the taxi again. Now I'm not saying that this load may or may not be legal. I'm guessing it's probably not. The good news is we're just going to those trees over there and we're not actually getting on any. Well, I guess we are getting on the highway, but only for about 100 yards, so screw it. Forget the mule, load the wagon. in there we're rolling about four and a half mile an hour and this combine is just eating them um they're dry on the hills you get down here in the bottom they get a little wetter but really not bad uh, and they're pretty clean in the tank and the way they're flattening out like that 
are definitely somewhat dry. Uh, I tested them just to make sure the uh, moisture tester on the combine was right. They were about 12 and a half, which since they're going in a bin with a big fan on it, I'm happy with that. I mean, it'll take, it'll take the moisture right out, uh, what little is there. But there's just some green ones in here, here and there. Um, but I mean, when they get blended in with a bunch of dry ones, um, it should be okay. But I do have one hellacious washout ditch here that I've been cutting around and crossing. I hate washouts. Um, I shove this one shut every year. It's actually not as bad as it's been in the past, but I planted uh, rye in that this year and uh, just let the rye stay green, sprayed around it. Uh, when I burnt the field down and then when I came back and did my post emerge pass once the soybeans were already up I just sprayed through it and went ahead and killed the rye it seems to help but I don't know I'd probably just need to put a terrace and some tile in there but really no good place to run the tile to it's really flat down here there's really no ditches to speak of so I have to run a tile a long way just to fix one ditch so Probably be better off on the waterway. I don't know, but that'd be a good project for this fall. Get one established. If the rye had done a little bit better, I would have just kept going around it. Um, I need to get some grass seed or something in it, try and make it hold a little bit better. But this hopper should fill the uh, should fill the semi. So I don't know if I'll come back and try and cut another one tonight or not. See that nice cut field. They look real good, look real good, look real good. And there's that pile there. Slug the combine up. Um, the belt to the spreaders was a little bit loose and they got a ball of green stuff and decided they wanted to stop turning. And when they stopped turning, started plugging it up from here on forward. So I got this all cleaned out and I am gonna stop this, well, you can kind of see it. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on so you guys can see it. So what happened is it choked it up all the way to the beater. Well, the beater didn't have anywhere to throw this stuff, so it just started wrapping it. She plugged in there tight. So, time to go get a Sawzall. Start cutting that stuff out. And uh, long pair of needle nose pliers. Best thing you can do is drop that and drop that. Drop the pan down, and you can pull most of it out. It's usually not too bad of a job, but it's time consuming, so. Unfortunately, this is not the first time I've done this. Um, did this a couple times last year, so. You would think I'd learn, but if you thought I'd learn, you'd be wrong, so. Good times. Real good times. First, I'm going to dump the semi, because it's hot. That motor is right above here. If I go dump the semi, maybe it'll cool off a little bit in here because the motor is literally right above where it's plugged so all that heat is just radiating down through there so at least the semi is full there's a little bit on the combine and uh, we're gonna get that unloaded and unplugged and call it a night because it'll be dark by then good times wasn't for bad luck i wouldn't have any luck at all oh yeah that looks better out across there Got all those cut today. The only difference is uh, these are these are my beans here too, but that was in a pasture. There was actually a hay field, and I didn't get those planted till later. And I even got my yard mode. It's all striped up, looking good. Get her started here. All right, time to dump some beans. I believe that one more semi load will fill that grain bin, but we're gonna climb up there and check. 
I'm kind of forgetting how many loads I've put in it so far, to be honest, but it's, it's getting, this will put it at least two thirds full. I don't know if you guys can see the stuff or not. Maybe you can, but this is why I like big fans on little bins, is it blows a lot of the trash out. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not, but you can see it on the ground. Lots and lots of trash that that thing will blow out. And it's not that the beans are necessarily dirty, but you're always going to have a few pods and little stuff like that. So it works out really well, but that fan really blows a lot of that crap out. There's definitely a few beans in there. my water jug but riddle me this this water jug it's been empty for like two hours I still emptied it though if you catch my drift all right that's a wrap shut everything down call it a night if i could find my light switch it's up here in the combine it's down here on this no wonder i couldn't find it it's dark. Thanks for watching.